Moving on to the last and final topic of our Marvel discussion for today, and I can't remember what it was. The uh, Disney Stream spinoffs, or so it's kind of in. That is like the next thing. Like, what are they going to do on the streaming service? Do you think that we're going to have Agents of Shield continued over there? Well, they just announced that. I don't. I don't think so because ABC is owned by Disney, so they can keep it on ABC no problem. But they announced that they're going to be making. Let's see here. Stream. Streaming service Marvel. Hopefully you edit this out, or oh, it's just me here staring at my phone. No, but, uh, that's fine. I know that they're going to have, like, the cartoons of Marvel shows and stuff like that on the streaming service forum. It was forum. just recently. It was like they were talking about, like, Black Widow and Loki. Oh, so they are going to do, like, a side... Oh, like, Scarlet Witch and Loki, that's what it is. Uh, and this isn't speculation, this is, like... Gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm They're going to be limited series. I'm not a big fan of, like, them doing full-on superhero series about, like, some of the main characters. Yeah, or well, that, that's why characters. that's why these are going to be limited miniseries. They're going to be one-offs. They're not going to be, like, multi-season Netflix kind of things. All right, so in S.H.I.E.L.D., some of the worst parts of the show, in my opinion, were when they tried to force characters that shouldn't have been in there in. So Lady... You guys can say it in the comments below, but basically Thor's girlfriend growing up or whatever. Okay. She's on the show, and they add a story plot with the Asgardians in there, but like her character is just like it's it's a pay it's like an homage to the movies, but if you hadn't seen the movies and you're watching the show, you're completely lost with what this character is doing. And and, yeah. her, and what her motivation for being there is and everything. And I had watched the show before I watched the movie, so it was a great payoff when I watched the movie, don't get me wrong, but this the show came after the movie, so... Yeah, at this point I think Marvel puts a lot of faith in their viewers having seen everything already, and they, they pick and choose what they they present that doesn't require any like previous watching of anything mm. and generally speaking i think the more minor stuff is they know that the people watching that are going to be the hardcore fans that have been watching everything and then the bigger stuff like the big pop culture movies like guardians of the galaxy and stuff that they'll they'll set it up so that people can just watch it without any previous knowledge of anything mm. so speaking of the streaming service do you think that we'll get a um, spear or sword series Anything, anything that they're they're not gonna they're not willing to risk making a an actual movie from, I think is can potentially. That's and, kind of where I'm going. With yeah, that. all all of the, the like Guardians of the Galaxy. Everyone talks about how it's a big risk, but the Guardians of the Galaxy have been in Marvel since the '60s, and um, they chose the newer ones. They didn't chose the original Guardians. I feel like a lot of the minor stuff from the last twenty to thirty years. So, in terms of talking about Marvel, like the newer stuff, I think that probably belongs more on a, on a, like a streaming service, kind of like a low cost, mm -hmm. low risk kind of thing, just on a business level. And, and that's why I'm hoping that they will do S.W.O.R.D., which is, if you guys don't know a little bit of backstory, that is S.H.I.E.L.D. in space. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's like space, um, I can't remember the full acronym for it right now, but it is the Space Protection Force, basically. Yeah, but it's fa it's fairly new. It it what, is, what is what's Trump called that new thing? The Space Force. Oh yeah, the it's, Space Force. It's Space Force, but for <laughs> like the Marvel MCU. Yeah. It would just be MCU. Yeah, and I I feel like all the stuff they do in their their cinematic film fan franchises, it's all safe Marvel stuff. That's why they've tried to do Fantastic Four like sixteen times. Sixteen times now. It's like. And it's bad every time. Yeah, well, Kevin Feige apparently is in charge of all the, the properties coming over from the Fox, Fox. merger. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see once Star that stuff starts coming becomes the Fantastic Four Tower. 
Maybe. I said that after they after they said they were evacuating it in homecoming. It'll probably they yeah. going to be in there anymore. I was like, it'll That's probably be very similar to how they did Spider Man Homecoming, where they it, it was like a soft introduction of new characters because they can't just be like, oh, Fantastic Four, they've been a thing forever, and now they're just coming back right now. Like that's well, what, that's no, what they're doing with Captain like, Marvel. I think that it's to... even better that the Fantastic Four happens after all the space stuff already gets started up, because then when you get Silver Surfer and all those characters inside there, it's gonna be so awesome. Like, and that's why I want Sword is because I think that we can get some of those characters. Like, I know I just said that I didn't want to see characters in there, but a Fantastic Four. Like, one of the Fantastic Four showing up there is way more recognizable than a Thor third-level side character. Like, the fact that they brought Quake into the show was cool because that gives you a superhero to kind of follow along with in the Inhumans, which they say they're still making a movie for as of this moment. Yeah, the Inhumans production has been pretty crazy all over the place like i don't i don't know if it's gonna happen or i kind of wonder if that's why they brought forth the inhumans in agents of shield is because they started to realize how hard it was going to be to make that movie and they should just keep going with it on shield i think and let that kind of become inhumans over time as a show and then let shield devolve into sword and spear and that would be kind of like a cool way of doing it i know disney though they don't want to change branding it's going to be a whole big deal they'd rather just introduce new things rather than change things that have already existed well they'll call the show like agents of shield still but they'll do what they did with like the height when hydra took over and it was like agents of hydra like i could see something like that happening you know and they're already in space at the end of season five anyway so it's kind of just a yeah. setup to deal with more of the space control outside of Earth's boundaries. Yeah, well, the, the big theory, even since the beginning of Phase 2, has been that they're going to, moving forward, to get these actors that, you know, they can't just do this forever out of their contracts, is to, like, pass the baton, like, oh, Bucky's going to be Captain America, or Falcon, the Falcon's going to be Captain America, or... I like Falcon better anything i don't i don't think they're going to do that that's my theory is that this fox merger is so important to them because they know going forward the future of the franchise should be in new characters um to them at least and that'll be the fantastic four and the x-men coming in and then that being the new mcu instead of just rehashing over and over again the same avengers characters well the thing replaces the hulk you know um Gosh, I can't ever remember his name now either, apparently. I've, I've, I've really tried to block out Fantastic Four, can you tell? <laughs> Stretch Man, Mr. Stretch, what's his name? I can't remember. I don't even name want to either. tell you just because it's funny that you don't remember. I can't. I can remember the Human Torch. I can remember the Thing. I can remember the Invisible Girl. <laughs> Mr. Stretch. Seriously? That's all his name is? No, no, no. That's what oh. you said. <laughs> all right, well, anyways... Reed. Rubber man. I know Reed is his last name, too. Yeah. Yeah, so... Dr. Reed. Dr. Reed. He'll, he'll be Tony Stark. He'll be Tony Stark. Exactly. And then Tony Stark's egotistical side is the Human Torch. Yeah. So you get both characters without really losing Tony. And then Captain America can be replaced by Captain Marvel. It's already being set in motion, I feel like. Yeah, I think Avengers they're just going to... They're going to phase out the Avengers, or they're just going to change them up completely. The, the Avengers don't have to be Thor, Iron Man. I mean, this isn't even the well, true Avengers, like in the comic Thor books, anyways. Thor has changed, like, three times, because it's all about having the hammer. It's not about even being Thor himself, even yeah. later on with the comics. But that's just the comics so far, so... Chris Hemsworth is finishing his contract, but it sounds like he's re-signing again. So I could see him wanting to do it going forward. I don't, I don't think it's a problem for he's him. He's like one of the few that I could see still sticking with it. Because Chris yeah. Evans wants to do Broadway. Robert Downey Jr. wants to do the Sherlock Holmes. And then he said he would come back in Little's parts, but he, wouldn't, he doesn't want to be like doing the whole thing again. But then at the same time, I heard at the end of Avengers Infinity War, he had a... An interview where they heard him saying that he wouldn't mind doing Iron Man four. Yeah, I think it's gonna. It just changes. You know how it is. People get weary I, of things and then they they get back into it and they like it again. Hear me out. 
wouldn't it be cool to see Spider-Man Civil War? And he asks Iron Man to come back and fight on his side. And it's him and the Fantastic Four going at it. Yeah, well, the the actual Civil War comics, the first the first one in Civil War Two, are really dark and really intense, and I feel like they could do a lot more with the whole Civil War thing than they did with it just being like they were arguing over some like political policies, basically. Doctor Doom would be like the perfect catalyst of a Civil War. Because imagine him not being Doctor Doom, but being his alter ego, and running the Fantastic Four. Spider-Man finds out that they work for him, and immediately thinks that they're the bad guys, asks Tony to help solve the scenario with him, and the Fantastic Four, having no clue of what's going on, they end up attracting a Silver Surfer, and we have a whole new host of... Yeah, as much as I like that stuff, I, I feel like newer different villains than what's been in other movies even outside the MCU would be but more like, entertaining see, but I feel like Doctor Doom has been trapped in every version that they've had of him so far like he, there's nowhere for him to go because he can't become the ultimate power that Doctor Doom always was in the comics like the first time I remember reading a comic of Fantastic Four versus Doctor Doom he mops the floor with them and like the first page the first page and it's like every movie the Fantastic Four gets the better of him like the whole yeah. time there's because they always they always they always set up Doctor Doom Doom's character like he's becoming Doctor Doom at the same time as the Fantastic Four becoming the Fantastic Four but why not just not, start it out where he's already powerful exactly and he just comes in and he's like you know and then the Fantastic and, Four are and the they're response learning to that. their abilities while he's already taking controlling power because yeah. he takes over for Stark after Stark disappears for a little bit like a Nick Fury and now this dude moves into power Reed Richards Reed Richards is, is Reed Richards Reed is his first name okay I can not remember either it, it dawned on me all of a sudden but anyways they take over they do the space adventure because they're trying to collect the particles on space vibranium blah 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 whatever they could use that even if they wanted to adamantium just throwing that out there to cue in some x-men <laughs> i can't wait for x-men marvel x-men i think i know gonna be really interesting the only sad part is that hugh jackson jackman yeah jackman jackman yeah hugh jackman it won't be wolverine which would be kind of sad yeah i mean he's been wolverine for almost 20 years now so i don't think that like it's like if Christian Bale actually did a, a really good job in Dark Knight Rises, and then they did like a couple more movies afterwards, and you got really attached to him as Batman, and then they all of a sudden ripped your heart out and took him out, and replaced him with Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. I would not want that. Or, you know, get Val Kilmer, and then get an even worse pick with George Clooney. Yeah. That Val Kilmer, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely an argument there. Yeah, I would take Val Kilmer as Batman over George oh, Clooney yeah. every day of the week. Oh, yeah. All day, every day. Okay, well, that sounds like we've been rambling on long enough for one video of Avengers Assemble. More theories, more conversations about Marvel topics. If you guys want to give us some more stuff to talk about in the comments below, just comment it. Tell us how, how wrong we are. I'm not a comic book expert, by the way. I don't know if I'm... And, and remember, I know I've been talking about the comic books, but I'm really not an expert, so don't quote me on anything. There's there is <laughs> Avengers Assembled, right? And then there's theories and speculation. There's, like, the fact-based ten, like, three-minute videos, and then there's us just ranting and talking about it in these videos, too. So if you guys want more fact-based driven videos comment down below and just tell us which ones you want we'll fill those in around these types of shows right here where we just have conversations with you guys and talk about what we see going on with the marvel cinematic universe and we'll do this every week here on summit pass studios so like i said like and subscribe i've been jeremiah i've been eli and we'll see you next week on avengers assemble